Hello friends, I'm Eric and today we are watching episode 8 of season 7 of Supernatural. So, I honestly don't think I have anything to say at this point. No, I don't think so. We're just gonna get into it because last time didn't really give me much to go on to talk about. That I haven't talked about at length. <laughs> it's the same thing over and over again, you know? It's the drama between the boys. <laughs> and, <laughs> Uh, and their very dysfunctional relationship. Anyways, so uh, before we get started, I just quickly want to mention the Patreon. On the Patreon, I am eight episodes ahead, which is four weeks of videos. Uh, and uh, over there, they're also uncut, not edited down like here on YouTube. And there's all the other shows and movies I do, like Avatar, The Last Airbender, Legend of Korra, Gravity Falls, uh, Invincible, Dragon Prince, and movies and stuff. There's more shows than that, but that's some of them. Anyways, let's get into episode 8 of season 7 of Supernatural. What's your deal? Uh, here's the deal. I have this friend. He's good at this younger brother. Oh. <laughs> Considering he's crazy, well, he's, he's not crazy. He, he's starting to seem like things might be getting a little better. And you don't trust it. <laughs> because good things don't happen to us. Sacred annual pilgrimage to Vegas. And he goes off on some granola munching hike in the desert by himself oh you're abandoned oh you feel lonely speaking of the devil he's four blocks away <laughs> see baby bro needs you after all yeah he does we have a case in vegas is that just shoddy wiring or is it <laughs> something supernatural What is this? Uh, apparently, uh, pink is for loyalty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love. And I'm getting married. <laughs> no, you're not. Well, you might be getting married and you might think you're in love, but you're not actually. Something's going on. What the hell? Who is this? Oh, it's her. What was her name? Becky. A Becky. So, magic of some sort. Love spell. Ha 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 ha, that was awesome. Because this is actually happening, right? It's not, it's not a dream. You know what? Ignoring everything. Have you forgotten the average life? <laughs> Guest our DJ Qualls. I know that guy. Dean, look, it's simple. If something good's happening, I gotta jump on it. Now, today. I Period. This is... No, this is weird. <laughs> I found out that, that she's great, and I was the dick. Yeah, you know, speaking of the whole uh, book thing, Becky randomly shows up during Vegas week? Yeah. Well, I mean, can't be random. If it's Vegas week, if you do it every year, then she would have known that you were here. Becky and I are going to go up to her place in Delaware. Um, why don't you try and wrap your dome around this, get a little supportive, and give us a call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get supportive. Come on, get get with the program. <laughs> As Mrs. Becky Rosen hyphen Winchester. And she's still gonna hyphenate with how obsessed she is with she is with Sam. Hmm, okay. To Delaware to do a little snooping around. Sam is there with his wife. That's right, you heard me. His wife. Call me. Yeah, this is a 911. This is an emergency. Something is seriously wrong. Becky Rosen? Oh! Yucky Becky. Ah, uh, long time ago. Yucky Becky. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny. Actually, it's Rosen Winchester. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Guy, meet my husband, Sam. Hey. <laughs> is Sam not what you expected? Give me a hug. I swear. Oh. In their pocket, the world would be a okay, he's Wiccan, and that was probably a love potion. That's what's going on. That's why he looked at Sam disapprovingly because he knows what Becky did to get him. Where? 
Where's baby? Are they hiding her because of the Grace Killers? Yeah, that's why she's in mothballs. That sounds like uh, rabbit's foot stuff. <laughs> Truck kills a pedestrian who was a lottery winner. Lottery winner. To us. To us. <laughs> oh, poor thing. What am I doing here? Like health and happiness to Becky, but you can't mind control or like use love potion to basically press gang people into affection, into getting married to you. We're celebrating, dear. Remember? Uh, uh yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, man. I wonder what's going on in Sam's head. Maybe that was just like a very brief moment of like clarity. What's this? <laughs> Who are you, dude? Guy wins Powerball, gets squished by a truck. Second guy went from the bench to the majors. Oh, and then dead. His face is. I mean, we see it's a guy who's doing it, but it's very much like the rabbit's foot. We haven't been able to connect the Vix yet. <laughs> oh, Becky is cosplaying. Like she's not. Oh, you're not even acting like yourself, Sam. How am I not? You married Becky Rosen. Ever occur to you we're just, I don't know, happy? I think you're happy, or at the moment you're happy. People's dreams are coming true in this town. Don't you think this is a little bit of a coincidence? You know what, Dean? <laughs> That's true, I guess. But uh, so I mean, it's got to be witchcraft, then, right? You know, I went after her, Dean. Maybe that's what's bugging you, that I'm moving on with my life. I mean, you took care of me, and that's great, but I don't need you anymore. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. Or maybe he doesn't. Like, Sam is way more well-adjusted than Dean is, and Dean is the one who really needs Sam. That's the thing, that's the thing because I'm sure that Sam could live uh, without Dean. But I don't think the same, the other ways around is true. His and hers fake ID. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's so sweet. Junior salesman leapfrogs to CEO at Mutual Freedom Insurance. You think the CEO is a lead? Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit obsessive. <laughs> Come on, dude. You're gonna like it, aren't you? Beautiful. Yeah, of course he is. No, he's looking for a friend. Hey, there he is, DJ. I assume Bobby filled you in on the road. He told me two things. Oh, so he's a hunter. He said you'd be all um, surly and premature working with me. But hey, man. True. <laughs> I think I found a case. Check the headline. First things first. Oh, Marmaduke, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, check the comics first. Okay. <laughs> Are you trying to... Oh, that dude might be really good for Dean. <laughs> hey, is that your... Yes. Awkward. I like your outfit, Dean. <laughs> What's with the scrawny guy? <laughs> Temp. <laughs> oh, this is cute. And uh, any idea the board landed on you uh, over your supervisors? Um... They didn't say. Could you tell us what specifically... Ex That's a lie, right? We were just wondering if you got here by nefarious means. Oh, Garth. Oh. That's a bit too truthful. I didn't mean, of course, uh, corporate backstabbing. I'm sorry. I meant more like, uh, you know... Don't say it. Black magic, voodoo. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> it's not my big dream. Wait, you didn't want this job? Hell no. Huh. Your secretary's an idiot. I'll be at the printers this afternoon. All right, dear. Oh, that's the wife. This is this is the wife's dream. Okay. Wife seems pretty stoked on the promotion, don't she? Honestly, I've never seen her happier. I have no idea how I'm going to tell her I have to resign. So, still looking like black magic. Are you threatening me? No. 
No, I, I'm, I'm pointing out a pattern. Why do people keep thinking I'm threatening them? Because it sounded exactly like a threat, dude. Yeah, it kind of does. Good. What did you do to get him promoted? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You're gonna end up dead, lady. Come on. But I guess that's par for the course. Everyone thinks that it's not gonna apply to them. Get away. Oh. Oh no, she's out of it. Oh, it leaked out. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, Becky. Who is this guy? How did you know? Because you're not the first. Because patterns. <laughs> Craig's job for my soul. I know. Well, that's a possibility. What have I got to lose? Well, there's your soul. What kind of demon deal is this? Timeline's whack. Yeah, it is whack. Usually 10 years. I dropped this lady at my cousin's. He'll stop anything trying to get her. You'll be living with a tri-racial <laughs> paraplegic sniper until this all blows over, okay? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Garth. <laughs> We're married. Oh, God. I'm going, Dean. <laughs> oh, Becky. Oh, with the waffle iron. <laughs> oh, come on. That's a bit too much. <clears throat> Oh no, now we're full go going full misery. Calm down. Calm down! You hogtied me! Becky, why, why am I not wearing any pants? They're very consistent. <laughs> you don't need pants. <laughs> Where have you been? I got your messages. Problem? Big problem. I'm at my parents. Is this guy an actual demon, maybe? Breathe. Do you I don't know. know. There's something different here. Our marriage. No, that's good. So you dosed me with a love potion? Yeah. Look. Yes, I used a social lubricant. You ruined That's me. not social lubricant. You know your pal Guy is the one icing all those people, right? Wiccans are good, like Glinda of Oz. You're not the stupid Becky. Whatever's killing uh, people. Again, it's the same thing where like, no, it's not gonna apply to me. He's my friend. No, he's your dealer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much he's charging you for the Spanish fly. Nothing. He gives it to me. That should really, really concern you. Because he doesn't just give it to you. He wants something in return. And the fact that he hasn't asked for anything means that you're already giving it to him. What? No. Oh. You're still working through your emotions. Fuck me. I love you too. <laughs> yeah, that's not what he said. <laughs> Why don't you take a seat? Now that you're hooked, maybe now he's going to ask for your soul for the next dose. Uh, let's talk price. Yeah. I thought we were besties. You're so pathetic, it actually loops back around again to cute. Okay. You don't need to go that far, dude. But I will take your soul. Oh? Crossroads demon. Bingo bango. Yeah, they did have red eyes, right? That's a different way of, uh, like, changing the eyes. You killed those people. Or for legal reasons, let's just say they had unfortunate accidents. Yeah, but he's not the one doing it. It's the other guy. I wasn't thrilled to see your new hubby with Sam freaking Winchester. I mean, if he knew... No, understandable. <laughs> Becky, I'm prepared to offer you a one-time only deal. 25. I snap my fingers and Sam will love you for the rest of your life. You can't do that to Sam. Come on, Becky. <laughs> He's so energetic. I don't think they're here anymore. Anything? It looked like a, a cabin. That looked romantic to you? Oh, hell. Yeah, there it is. But I got this thing about fish. Dead eyes, man. And they're also on the side of their heads, which is a bit weird. Loon Lake. It's an appropriate name. If Beck is there. I was going to show you off. Not that anyone actually knows who you are. Supernatural is not exactly popular, but... Oh, it's really good, though. <laughs> hmm. Can we talk? <laughs> I, know you love me. I know it. Yeah, you got that right. 
had that whole character arc about being a freak, and I can relate. Then I met you guys, the real Sam and Dean. Yeah. And a dating chat. And you haven't really gotten to know them. You you're in love with a with a character with an idea that you read in a book, not the actual Sam. I just want someone who loves me for me. Is that too much to ask? No, it really isn't. Maybe don't drug them. But I want you. And this is the only way. You know what? You can't have him. Because he doesn't want you. It needs to be mutual. I'm not so sure. Bex! You missed the party. Yeah, she didn't. Yeah. She didn't do it. She's here with, and Sam is here as well to get rid of this guy. But who's the other guy, the white guy, who's going around killing people? I'm in. You're making the right choice. You really are not, Becky. I don't think she is. I think this is a ploy. I'm not your sweetheart. Ha <laughs> ha nice. Becky. That's a first. Can't lay a hair on any of my clients. Right. So how are you cheating it? I'm not a cheater. I'm an innovator. Oh, so he's he's in on it. So you're arranging accidents. Collecting early. Oh, please. White gloves. <laughs> yeah, he's not the one doing it. So the other guy is also a demon. <laughs> is Becky gonna save the day? <laughs> ah. There's three of them. No. Oh. There are. No, but no, it looks like it needs to be Becky who saves the day, right? Yeah, she did. How many deals you got cooking in this town, mate? Or I'll cut my own loop hole in your throat. Oh, crap. But you're still gonna kill him, right? You said it, you're in a world. Hello, boys. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> the big man himself. Don't let him get off that easy. Sir, I don't think that you... I know exactly what you've been doing. Oh, and you don't approve? I assume that's my whistle blown. Yeah, <laughs> Becky did that. Hidden is a reason we don't call our chits in early. Consumer confidence. This isn't Wall Street, this is hell. We yeah. have something called integrity. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Because you're a stupid, short-sighted little prat. Yeah. I get that feeling from Crowley. He thinks long term. What are you gonna do with him? Make an example of him. Fair trade, right? We all go our separate ways. I think whatever Crowley's gonna do to this guy is way worse than anything you can do. Oh, we've been a little busy. Hunting Leviathan. Yes, I know. That's why I told my lads to stay clear of you, me ads. Dick, yet. Smuggest type of goose is Mussolini. Please, please talk to Crowley. Squash them all. Please, I'll stay clear. Yeah, I, b I believe you. Gentlemen. <laughs> hey, Garth. What'd I miss? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> you missed a visit from the king of hell. <laughs> it wasn't all bad, right? No, it kind of was. Okay, you, you did save my life. Yeah, well, there was, yeah, that part, there was that part. You're not a loser. Okay, you're a good person, and, and you've got a lot of... You're really intense, and there's going to be someone who appreciates that. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no. Oh, come on, just go. Let, just let him. They can try. Well. Oh. <laughs> he really latched on fast. <laughs> wow. Oh, you made a point. Uh-uh. You know, I gotta say, man, for a <laughs> whack job, you really pulled it together. Yeah, it's kind of impressive. It's stupid to think that you need me around all the time. You're a grown-up. No, but he wants to be needed. Because that's... You're a hike in the desert. How he gets his, like, own value. Looking out for me your whole life. Now you finally get to... Take care of yourself. About time, huh? Yeah, but he... He doesn't know how to. He doesn't think there's anything worth taking care of when it comes to himself. 
Okay, so that was episode 8 of season 7 of Supernatural, and I think that's it, you know? He doesn't... Like, if he's gonna make... He can't make himself the prior priority because of depression and things, other reason. Like, he... Yeah, he's not worth fighting for. He doesn't think that he is worth fighting for, Dean, that is. So, like, if he can't be of service to someone else, like like Sam... If he, then what is he like? What what's he gonna do? Um, I like Becky. I do, but it's yeah. This was way too far. I think I kind of said everything already. You know. Hmm. I think the most interesting part here is probably Crowley, right? Because that's I like. I really appreciate Crowley. I really, really do. Um, and I'm really happy that he is the king of hell, as, uh, like, as it currently stands. Because I do, I do think that he thinks long term. Because like, if you consider other villains here... Yeah, well for instance, uh, Eve, who wanted to turn all of humanity into monsters. If you turn all of humanity into monsters, then what are the monsters gonna eat, you know? It's, it's not a very smart idea. And yeah, all the souls, those monster souls, would go to purgatory. Uh, but but still, like, <laughs> then there won't be any more new monsters. And uh, like Lucifer wanted to wipe out humanity. Uh, but then what? I mean, uh, yes. like, but my point is that Crowley thinks about it like the best way to, like, rule hell is to ensure that life on Earth is stable. Because, you know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs and so on, like, if it's an apocalypse situation, then you don't have time to worry about, like, making deals for some supernatural reason, like, make getting someone to love you um, with a spell, or getting that promotion, or uh, wealth and success and so on if you can't have like clean drinking water basically so there's <laughs> there's a huge vested interest in keeping the peace and Crowley understands that and that's what I really really appreciate about him so I hope I really hope we keep him around for a long time because yeah he's the best king of hell possible I mean there was that thing where he and Castiel decided to try to take over the souls of Purgatory. And like, as Eve said, uh, like, she was fine with the arrangement as it was. Like, her, like, monsters turned some people into monsters, uh, but not all of them. And hunters hunted some of the monsters and killed them. So like, it was a, there was a balance. And she was so fine, she was fine with that balance, but she had to escalate when, when Crowley and Castiel decided to start to escalate. But besides that, he's been fairly reasonable, I think. And I think he's telling the truth here. I think that encounter was 100% truthful. I wondered, though, if he knows anything about Leviathans that he hasn't told us. Because we haven't talked to him about it. I don't know. Maybe he has no idea. If Leviathans were the first creatures, first monsters, whatever. I mean, Crowley is what? Uh, he lived 500 years ago or something like that? Five, six hundred? Or three, four hundred? Somewhere around that. Maybe it was Ruby. It was like six hundred. Or seven hundred. Like when the plague was big. I mean, he's not very old. Anyways, yeah, that was... Uh, that was another pretty mediocre episode, actually. The, because the previous one was fairly mediocre as well. That's not a big statement, right? I mean, I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was fun seeing, like, an, a new episode of Supernatural. But yeah, it wasn't very special, no. I haven't yet, I don't think... I'm trying to think real quick. But no, I haven't yet watched an episode of Supernatural that I actively disliked. I still like them. It's just that, like... I like some more than others. <laughs> you know, I didn't even have a problem with 
the one that a lot of people seem to dislike, which was uh, Bugs. That was like episode eight, I think, in season one. Yeah, I didn't even have an issue with that. So like even episodes that aren't, that are fairly mediocre, I still enjoy. It's just that, yeah, this was pretty mediocre. So yeah, I don't think I have anything more to add. I think that's it for today. I'm looking forward to the next one though. See what that's going to be like. Um, but that is for a different day. For today, I am done and I thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, do take care of yourselves and peace out.